This is a plate shelf and we're going to convert it into a shelf to store my cards. My husband's about to paint it black. We'll come back in a few with an update. <laughs> Make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, she is. Alrighty, we've already painted uh, this plate shelf black. And now I'm going to put some chicken wire behind it and see how that looks. Okay, this is a spur of the moment video. I'm going to record me stapling this to the back of my plate shelf. I had already put in my first staple when my husband said, you're not going to record this? And I was like, ah, oh, crap. And here I am, recording away. I am going to make it to where it goes below this shelf and beyond here. I want it to go to the end of this. I'm hoping you can see this, yes. And the bottom of this. And I'm going to go over all of the way around and then I'm going to cut it down just to make sure I get everything covered that I want covered. Been a long time since I've used a staple gun, so bear with me, folks. And I'm going to hopefully not knock the camera or the lights over again. I've done it all so far. I'm not going to put a ton of staples, I'm just going to put enough to hold it in place one at the end, one in the center, and then again, another one at the other end. I want to make sure it's level. Granted, I get it, it's chicken wire. It doesn't need to be perfect. Oop, sorry. Maybe I should move everything over as I do this. Thankfully I had chicken wire left over from, we did a garden and we wanted to protect it from the dogs and, well, yeah, it didn't really do that. But we had some left over and here it is. Hmm. Taught before I start stapling everything down. It looks good when it's all said and done.
one in the center. Come on. Yay. Trying to stretch this so it's taut or somewhat taut, not completely loosey goosey, and having issues holding it down and stapling at the same time. I apparently need both hands to staple it. I don't know why. All right. Set the staple gun down before I hurt myself. <laughs> Flip the piece over. Hopefully you can see here, I ended up cutting it in between these so it, it stays twisted. Otherwise, it just looks really messy, and that's the way I'm going to do it all the way around. I'll be back. Okay, for now, I'm going to just cut it right here again so this part here stays curled. So we'll have more, keep its honeycomb shape what it reminds me of. Will any of this look good, folks? I have no idea. Ooh, see, I'm even doing it wrong at this point. I'm going to keep it all level. But I'm going to find out. If it doesn't, well, then I can pull it all off. Across and I'll be back. Alrighty, as you can see, this is what I ended up doing. Um, this is actually, you're seeing it upside down. Here's a little ridge in the shelf that holds the plates on. Um, I will be back with some sandpaper. I did look at different things to distress this with. I'm going to use my Inca Gold. I considered the silver one, gold, and copper, and I think I have decided on the gold, so I am going to rub that here and there on the black. Actually, let me... This is the brand. Same thing, except for this one's gold and this one's copper. I've had mine about a year and it did dry out. I added just enough water to coat the top and dump the rest of it out. And it still wasn't soft enough for me, so I stuck it in my microwave for eight seconds. Yes, I'm sure it was the wrong thing to do, but I did it and it worked. And it is softer. And I'm going to come here on the edges. Zoom in there a bit. Probably putting way more than I need. And I should be rubbing it so it gets a little bit shinier. And then I'm going to go in with my sandpaper and take some of it off and bring up the color of the wood. Seeing as I've 
already accidentally done that. I'm going to set this off. Seriously, it's a little bit long way. You don't want to go near the first part. This is right on. I don't want to go into any small ones. And then, hopefully, the way to get to where it's not right. I'm going to insert the two axes. We're going to have a little water container. We're going to run out of the rate. We're going to have that. Okay, so we're going to I don't know if you can see that. Okay. 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 PC here is a reason that I'm even doing this. I don't know if you can see that. And I was moving it around when it was upside down. That came off. The black paint came off. So I'm just gonna take my sander, press here and there. Having to go over with that again. See that? That's the wood color showing through a little bit. And I might have to go over with that gold again, apparently. Distress it and then go around with the gold. Otherwise, but then again, you don't want a whole lot of gold, so I guess it depends on how you want it to look. to knock off again. Okay. I guess I'll just distress the parts that um would have gotten scuffs on them, which would be the outer parts that would have leaned against a wall. And the corner pieces. That might be it. Oh, 
come back once I put it up. Okay, this is the finished product. It's up on the wall. I've only stuck a few cards on it. You can either hang it on the shelf like this. Let me bring it up here. I don't know if you can see the shelf right here. And then this other one's hung up with a clothespin. I'm thinking about, I don't know if I'm going to use the clothespins as they are or cover them up with a little bit of pretty patterned paper. And one of the reasons that I wanted the chicken wire to go beyond the square part of the frame is so that I can hang stuff beyond the shelf itself and overhang. I hope that made sense. I'd have to say it didn't when I just heard myself say it. Um, but I am super duper happy with the way it turned out. Thanks for watching.